Well, it's been a year. <clears throat> the wood's dried out. I cut that tree into all different size cans. Um, never know what I'm going to use it for. So, <clears throat> what I did is we'll take it over to the sawmill and we'll cut it in half this way, and then two cuts this way. You can see how I did it here. So this was the first cut, <clears throat> and then we'll take a slice this way. And I want to get rid of the heart because the heart always cracks. You can see it. It's not any good. It's called the pith. So what I'm looking for is the grain to be this way. And we'll <clears throat> mill, get these uh, put on the planer and the joiner, and join them together. Yes. And this will be the tabletop. Uh, I'm going to be making a uh, desk for my child's birthday coming up. And she wanted a, a desk that's 48 by 22. And it's not going to have a drawer, just crisscrossing legs, something real simple. Um, didn't want to put a drawer on it because she'll just fill it up with junk. So I'll take y'all to the sawmill and let you see how we cut this. And we cut this dry. The next thing we want to do is run it through the joiner. The joiner will make one side perfectly straight and then you turn it 90 degrees and it'll make the other one perfectly straight and square to one another. And then we'll take the other two sides to the planer. thing we want to do is run the opposite side that we planed <clears throat> that we used on the joiner and run it through the planer. Well, the next thing we want to do is use the biscuit joiner and cut slots in it. I've drawn well, five lines on each one. We'll set it up. Just line it up and push down on it. Real simple. We'll glue that in. That helps keep everything aligned and we'll glue everything the faces of all this as well. Makes it real strong. Well, next We'll get it all glued up.
Now we got it all glued up. We'll let it dry overnight and build the legs tomorrow. All right, next thing we want to do now that the glue's dry is give it a good sanding. Well, the next thing we want to do is round the edges, both top and bottom. We're going to use a router to do that. See how it just rounds it, we'll do both top and bottom. Alright, next I laid out the <clears throat> bottom of the table. There's a line here, I'm not sure if you can see it. And then this side of the table represents the floor. And the, my tabletop is 22 inches, so I came in just a little. I take my board, simply line it up a little shy at the top from the edge. And then we scribe the lines <clears throat> matching the floor and we'll bring it over to the saw and cut it and it'll fit in place like this. And then the pieces will be dadoed out to where they interlock. Well, let's get the table saw set up. Well, I got the legs dadoed out. You can see how they interlock. I got a perfect, perfect match too. Next, we'll get the brace that grows across the center. Well, next, we're going to attach the beam that goes along the midpoint of it from one leg to the other. I'm going to use a Craig jig. We're going to screw it into it. I've got some marks here that lined up, everything square. To, I'm going to put in a couple of biscuits. This is going to be screwed and glued and biscuited together, as well as some screws from the other side. I, <clears throat> I could use a knockdown method where you use a wedge and all that but the table's so small there's no sense to go to all that trouble well we're ready to assemble it i got the two biscuits already glued in and we'll uh, put it up and use the screws i'm going to show you a trick um, glued a magnet to the back of my drill and it just holds the screws for you so you're not always having to reach for them Well, there's the finished table. I'll give it a good coat of primer and then two coats of white uh, acrylic latex paint and um, give it a good day to dry between coats. And there's the finished product. She's still got some decorating to do and I got to build her a chair next. Thanks for watching.